Hi, this is Jeremiah with Stone Blue Airlines, and today we're taking a look at two products from Security Camera 2000. One is a 1.2 gigahertz system, and the other is just a 12 volt um, accessory uh, that goes along with it that you can plug in uh, if you're doing some ground testing and don't want to have to wire up all your lipos, or if you're just working in the shop. So something that you can plug into these and not have to worry about batteries. So of course, not going to be what you need in the plane uh, or in the air but uh, perfect for a setup here in the uh, office, studio, or uh, your workbench. So in this small box, we've got an adapter, a 12 volt uh, DC adapter here. And this is just for plugging in and powering a base station uh, in your home. So they've got uh, an adapter that comes with the kit. And that's kind of nice because not all of them ship this way. And uh, not only could you run a small charger if you need to charge batteries with it, but you can also just use it to power your ground station. So something nice and definitely something you can use not only just for powering your ground station while doing testing uh, on the ground. All right, so we're looking at a 1.2 gigahertz, 800 milliwatt system. And uh, you always just want to be careful. A lot of the manuals may not match up, but this one did. Uh, 800 milliwatt typically is around 600, so they're not always rated the same. And normally not running anything more than a 600 milliwatt system in our planes. So we've got the ground station receiver here. Pretty much standard receiver like everyone has seen. Um, this one is a 12 channel, but it does transmit on a number of frequencies that you're going to want to stay away from. 1280 is the one you're going to want to look at. So let's dive a little deeper. All right, deeper in the box. Here we go, our transmitter. Little cap on the top to protect the uh, semi-connector. Uh, here is where we're gonna cut and splice in our connector that's gonna work well on our planes. And uh, yeah, nice heat sink. Haven't pulled the thing open. Normally what I'll do, and you'll see, I'm gonna cut to uh, uh, a scene after this. I'm gonna do a little wiring. But I like to open this bottom case, run some heat shrink once I cut it to basically make a stress reliever here on the corner. So when I have it in the plane, if for some reason the plane goes down, something happens and then the cable gets pulled, it's not gonna disconnect from inside the case and it just gives a little strain relief. So I like doing that, a little quick modification. All right, let's look in the bottom of the case. All right, so here's dipole antennas that also come included in the kit. Uh, of course, I'm not going to be running those. Uh, comes with your audio and video cable. And then it comes with uh, accessory jump lead that uh, you can power uh, the whole system on. Uh, again, we're not using this as a typical purpose, so what you're going to do is pretty much not use anything but the power lead. And then what I do is I just cut it off and I apply and uh, solder in my Dean's connector. And then the system is powered and ready to go. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up quick and uh, go ahead and throw it in a plane and we'll take it in the air and see how this system works. Again, we're only gonna be transmitting on 1280, but that is the most popular on the 1.2 gigahertz system. And uh, looks like it should be a good little system and plenty of power to do what we need to do. All right guys, let me get it wired up and let's put it in the air. All right, so let me show you where we're at here with the wiring. So I've stripped the connector off. Um, I am not dealing with any audio, so I have my ground, positive, and then my video. Everything's tinned. On the other side, I have a servo lead, female end. And then you're basically just going to connect up pretty much color to color. Uh, orange is going to yellow, red to red, and then brown is going to black or our ground. And uh, basically from there, solder everything up, and you've got a nice connector uh, that you can wire in. And this is just what I like to use and it works really well. So let me finish the uh, solder job here and then the uh, video system will be ready to install. All right, here we are, wiring is finished. Everything's connected up, about to uh, slide on the heat shrink and seal everything up. Okay, everything's installed in the plane and I have tested signal out. Uh, channel nine on the transmitter is gonna be your 1280. And then of course you're gonna also wanna be on channel 9 on the receiver. You do of course have other channel options on here but those are the only ones that are going to be legal here. This particular system, I'm not sure why, uh, really should have 1258 and uh, 1280 um, 
but for whatever reason it just doesn't so it's a 1280 system uh, of course it does have other frequencies just not something you're going to want to use here in the states so this is all ready to go uh, i've got my ground station all set up and ready to go signal things are working yep there it is chair rail Ooh, fun uh, we are ready to uh, take the plane out put it in the air and let's test the system out all right, uh, I'm gonna do a little narration here over the flight video. Uh, not only was I testing the video system on this flight, but I was also doing some tests on my return to home system. Just doing some fail safe testing, that sort of thing. Um, on this system, much like any other 1280 system, uh, we already did all the installation, everything is set up properly. It's always good to do a nice line of sight flight. I usually like to set up my monitor screen as opposed to just going goggles. Do some initial tests just to make sure that everything is operating fine. Usually fly about as far as I can see it, bring it back, just test everything. Plus it's usually good to do a general burn-in on the video transmitters. Um, let them stay on, of course, power them both together. Let them stay on. And then just make sure everything's operating properly when everything reaches temperature. Uh, so on this flight we got out to maybe 2,000 feet, I think. I uh, wasn't really pushing it tonight. It was getting late and uh, I was running out of daylight so I just kept uh, kept it close uh, but still at 2,000 feet if you're not getting any major breakup uh, at that point I mean really sky's the limit you can continue to keep flying and not have any kind of issues um, yeah so just kind of horsing around having some fun with the uh, with the wing tonight um, and then uh, testing the system out I am running the storm OSD and not a hard system to set up by any means but it's one that you definitely want to take your time with to me to go through and really set up properly make sure return to home is working make sure all your switches are working and uh, at another point we'll dive a little bit deeper into this system and uh, possibly ruby osd as well overall i'm really happy with this osd it's worked well for me and just my initial testing i haven't had any glitches or anything and i uh, look forward to uh to giving it some uh some real testing here in the future. So guys, um, appreciate you watching this video on this system from Security Camera 2000. Uh, they definitely have a lot of stuff to offer. My only complaint with this system would be it should be 1258 and 1280 and not just one or the other and all I was able to get is a 1280 system. So if you guys do pick that up definitely know that that is the case with this uh, with this video transmitter receiver combo and that it is only good for 1280. Guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time.